Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark. A couple of weeks ago, one of my subscribers reached out to me on Instagram to share an article about how Elon Musk supposedly lives in a $50,000 tiny house. Whilst this was interesting enough by itself, the tiny house that Mr. Musk apparently lives in was created by a company called Boxable. In a nutshell, Boxable have a gigantic 170,000 square foot factory in Las Vegas where they mass produce tiny homes at a rate of one tiny home every couple of hours. The 375 square foot homes are then folded down into 8.5 foot wide packages which can be towed and delivered by a pickup truck or at some point in the future, a cyber truck. After delivery, the boxable tiny house can be unpacked and moved into in just a couple of hours, which is much quicker than the average of 7 months it takes to build the average family home. Today we're going to be touring the famous Elon Musk tiny home, plus we'll also be touring Boxable's tiny house factory to see how they do what they do. But first I need to clear up a controversial lie. Elon Musk doesn't actually live in a boxable tiny house. Just last month, whilst appearing on the Nelk Boys Full Send podcast, Elon explained that he does own a boxable tiny home, but that he uses it as a guest house, not as his main house. For his main home, Elon lives in a $49,000 three bedroom house which he rents from SpaceX. We truly do live in hard times if Elon Musk is forced to rent. Also, I want to know how on earth they're getting a three bedroom house for $49,000. Launched back in 2017 by father and son duo Galliano and Paolo Tiramani, Boxable is like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, but for tiny houses. Instead of creating everlasting gobstoppers and trying to kill off troublesome children, Boxable's goal is to create affordable homes for senior citizens and people on low incomes. The production of these tiny homes takes place inside their colossal Las Vegas premises, which they claim is the world's most advanced housing factory. Inside the factory there are various sections, each manned by experts in that field. For example, we have a lamination station, a painting station and a power station. At each station, staff prepare a specific component of the build before it moves on to the next step in the process. Instead of the typical lumber, hammer and nails approach that we're so used to with regular housing, Boxable's tiny home, named the Casita, that's Spanish for small house, is built using steel, concrete, foam insulation and laminated panels. These panels that make up the walls, floor and roof ensure the casita is much stronger than the average home and are rated to withstand hurricane speed winds, heavy loads of snow and will provide reasonable resistance to fire, floods and mould. According to Boxable, the materials used to build these tiny homes won't degrade and will last a lifetime, lending to their claim that the houses are everything proof. By combining affordable and reliable materials with a methodical construction process, Boxable are able to produce efficient and cost effective homes in just a portion of the time it would take if you were hiring contractors and sourcing the materials to create a similar build yourself. One pretty unique thing about Boxable's process is that their tiny houses are pretty much kitted out in the factory before being shipped out. For example, the kitchen, bathroom, electrical, plumbing, heating and air conditioning are all fitted and ready to go. Because of this, upon arrival at the final destination, the home just needs to be unfolded, set into the foundation and hooked up to the utilities to take care of water, waste and power. Now before we take a look inside a fully finished boxable tiny house, I want to thank today's sponsor Surfshark VPN. At the risk of destroying the incredibly masculine image I have carefully crafted for myself here on YouTube, I have to admit that one of my favourite TV shows is The Great British Bake Off. Sadly, the UK version of Netflix doesn't have the Bake Off in their catalogue, but by using Surfshark, I'm able to solve this problem. With one click, I can change my location and access the US Netflix, which includes every old episode of The Great British Bake Off, although they call it The Great British Bacon Show over there. I don't know what that's all about. 
On top of this, if I'm ever staying in an off-grid tiny house and need to use public Wi-Fi, Surfshark's built-in encryption helps me stay safe from any potential hackers who are trying to snoop on me. Unlike other VPNs, Surfshark lets you use their service on unlimited devices and they're also consistently rated as one of the fastest and cheapest VPNs out there. If you're interested in trying Surfshark for yourself, you can click the link below or use code PATCHY at checkout. This will give you 83% off your order plus three extra months free. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, a tour inside the Boxable tiny home. Boxable's website describes the casita as an energy efficient studio apartment in a box. The 375 square foot space includes a bedroom, living room, kitchen, and bathroom. They've clearly had some upsetting incidents inside their showroom and needed to add a warning sign. Coming back to the kitchen, it's well fitted with a fridge, dual sink, oven, dishwasher, microwave, and ample cabinet storage, plus a little breakfast bar type seating area connected to the countertops. On the other side of the space, you have a living room with enough space for a couch and coffee table, and a small TV on the media unit. The other side of the media unit doubles up as a wardrobe and storage unit, which is a handy and thoughtful use of space. One cool feature of the casita is that the bedroom and living room can be swapped around. So if you would rather the living room be the first thing that you see when you come in the front door, that's very easy to do. Coming back to the bathroom, you have everything you could need with a shower and sink, a countertop, a backlit mirror, and a sliding door for privacy. Just outside the bathroom door, there's also a washer dryer, plus some space to do your ironing. The casita comes fitted with ultra low utility bills insulation technology, whatever that means, and includes LED lighting, which is set up to save you money every day. On the topic of money, let's move on to the price of Boxable's tiny home. Previously, Boxable's tiny house was advertised at a fixed price of $50,000, but as a result of inflation, Boxable now prices each unit on a case-by-case -case basis. Their reasoning for this is that if you reserve a unit today, it might take a year to receive, and they can't predict exactly what the cost of the raw materials needed to produce it might be at this point in the future. Because of this, what happens now is that when they get to your place in the waiting list, they will reach out to confirm a price and then lay out the next steps. Beyond the cost of the casita itself, you also have to be mindful of the additional hidden costs involved with buying one. Although Boxable's casita is fast and easy to set up, you still need to buy your own land to set it up on and also pay for the actual setup process. The setup process can include utility hookups, foundations, landscaping, permits, installation of a pitched roof and more, which depending on your location and the complexity of your site can cost anywhere from $5,000 to $50,000 and quickly eat up the savings that you've made by buying a factory made home. So what do you think of factory made tiny houses? Do you think they ruin the creativity and coziness that you would expect from a tiny home? Or do you see them as a much needed solution for the shortage of affordable housing? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate you taking two seconds to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.